Hi guys, Rachel here from The Confused Millennial. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be reviewing the KiwiCo Panda Crate Count With Me, which comes between 13 and 18 months. This will be like part unboxing, part how the toys held up. Now that my daughter's 20 months, so she's a little bit like past the range of this box and whether or not I think they will hold her interest as we continue in the toddler years. If you're new to my channel, up until this point, we have been die hard, love every fans. I started getting all of their stuff, like literally before my baby was born. I also just did a KiwiCo versus Love Every review after the Love Every September 2020 update. I will leave a link to that in the description box below. So make sure to go ahead, check that out. Also, you can get 30% off your first KiwiCo crate using the link in the description box below low. KiwiCo does sales like every other week. Um, some of them are not as good as that 30% off link. Some of them are a little bit better. For instance, they just finished a sale celebrating their birthday where they gave 15% off of everything on their website, which was huge because they have a really awesome shop section, including like Halloween and holiday themed items too. For those like, is KiwiCo running any special sales type of thing? Because I obviously can't update this video all the time. In the description box below, in addition to the 30% off link, there will be a link to the blog post version of this video. And in that blog post will be like a little box with whatever current promotion they have running at that time. So definitely go ahead and check that out before you check out. Let's roll the unboxing footage. All right, so we just got our KiwiCo box. I'm excited to try this out. I have heard such great things. I've always thought this was for older kids and I didn't realize they had like baby and toddler boxes, which is their Panda Crate line, which comes between zero to 24 months. Every other month, it costs $40 a box and each box has about five toys in it. So it's about $8 a toy. So it's a pretty good deal, I'd say. No clue what's inside. They don't really make it easy to find on their website. I got this little nug here who is very ready to open it. Are you ready? What is inside? Okay, so inside is another box. Wow. Here we go. Looks like we have some stacking cups some shape puzzles. So this is everything that comes inside. We have a cylinder block puzzle, three shape puzzles, which they're counting as one, a set of stacking cups. Some have holes at the bottom, some have little dents. That could be great for like Play-Doh. Counting cards that I'm obsessed with. They have little tactile experiences on the back of each card. And then Poppy's Surprise, which is a counting book. You wanna help? Want me to take the paper off that? Wow. <laughs> right into putting containers into containers. They also come with these Beyond the Crate cards, which give you a breakdown of the toys, ways to play with them, as well as just some activities to do using everyday household items. Yeah? Can you say open? Open. All you read, try this. It's never too early to learn about numbers. Build your child's number sense and introduce the concept of counting. Practice counting one to one. On each page, name the large number up for your child. Then take the pointer finger and help them trace the number as your child grows, encourage them to trace on their own. Inside the Wonder Magazine, they also give you a little QR code that brings you to a page on their website that has additional online resources for bringing the theme of this box to light. So like a parent education center, sing along songs, and then just some additional items to add to your home collection. And one of them was a book we happened to already have, which was this book, Doggies. I found this at Goodwill, so but I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. It's only like $5. One of the ideas I got from reading the book that came in this 
this play kit was they suggest tracing the number on the page with your child. So what I did, I went ahead and added some felt numbers I picked up at the Dollar Tree onto this particular book because it's kind of like a beat up rundown book anyway and I wanted to see if it worked. So I added these felt numbers over the actual numbers that were already on the page. You guys can see it's not like the prettiest looking thing. I have to say, my daughter has been obsessed with this. So it makes the book a little bit more Montessori by bringing in the tactile experience. It also encourages her to go ahead and trace the numbers on her own a little bit more. And ever since I've done that, she has been walking around with this book nonstop, touching it, like it breathed fresh life into it. And that's just a little $1 Montessori hack for you. You could also do that with the book included in this crate. That one was just really pretty and um, yeah. This is the same color. Do you want to see if it fits? No, it's too big. So as I've been reading this, one of the cool things I like is that it actually shows you in here ways to keep playing with these toys past. I think this box is for 13 to 18 months. But more than that, one of the things that stood out to me is like how simple they made understanding math milestones for kids. So like zero to one is collecting and sorting, one to two is numbers and shapes, and two to three is patterns and relationships. And so what they mean by that is under, behind, over, being able to sort things by the same shape, color, size, all that. So one of the things that kind of jumped out at me was being able to take these cups with these smaller pieces, so like the triangle piece, and start teaching her this, is underneath the cup. Continue to build on these different math milestones, as they call them. Want help? Yeah? There it goes, it lays flat. Yay! <laughs> you put all of the triangles inside. So this is a big triangle. That's a medium triangle, and that's a small triangle. Now you're putting the little triangle inside of the medium triangle. Great finger dexterity. Ooh, this is cool. Counting cards with textures. So they are flashcards on the front with textures and the right number on the back. Number one. One. You like that? It's a cool feeling, right? So will your toddler actually play with this and for how long? I really like that this box is themed for counting and I really like that KiwiCo themes all of their panda crates so you really know what skill they're working on. Like I said, my daughter's now 20 months. She plays with these toys all of the time. She has not slowed down at all. We use them for sorting, we use them for stacking. They work really well with some of the Love Every toys. So I would give it definitely two thumbs up. I love the Montessori inspired toys that encourage open-ended play. Make sure to hit that notification and subscribe button because I have a Dollar Tree Halloween slash holiday haul coming at you. And of course, I'm going, to, I'm really excited to be getting our next KiwiCo Panda Crate and reviewing that for you. In the meantime, feel free to go ahead check out that KiwiCo vs. Love Every review, check out some Halloween toddler themed activities or just toddler activities in general. I'll leave a link to the full playlist there for you. And if you have any questions at all, I'm Rachel. Feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Bye!